Tashawn Gibson over the last two years has been one of San Francisco's highest impact players on the defensive side of the ball. He has over 120 tackles as well as six interceptions. But despite this impressive production, San Francisco still hasn't re-signed the 33-year-old vet. So many are wondering what they're going to do at the position. And I know they still have guys like Chaiyer Brown and Talano Hufunga that's expected to come back, but behind them, there really aren't too many well-known names. And there's still the major question how Talano Hufunga is actually going to come back, because he tore his ACL and he wasn't the most explosive safety before that. So it was a little bit surprising to say the least that the 49ers didn't decide to just re-sign Gibson, at least for a one-year contract. But there is one guy that I believe San Francisco has on the roster currently that could be the perfect backup safety and that player is Taylor Hawkins. Hawkins is the most intriguing 49er safety heading into the season. In his career debut, for instance, he recorded his first interception living up to his name. But it's not just the way he performed in his debut. Quietly behind the scenes, since being signed by San Francisco after the 2022 NFL Draft, he's been developing into their ideal safety. And this might be my favorite part about Hawkins. From his college days where he transferred from corner to safety, I just watched a player that continued to improve. And I mean, his name is awesome for his safety. Hawkins, Ball Hawk. I mean, this would be like if a tackle was called Pancake or something. But is a name and some other pretty impressive skills make him a quality NFL safety? We're about to find out. When we were first introduced to Taylor Hawkins, he played wide receiver, defensive back, and punter for Palm Springs High School. During this time, he was named first team all-league choice and helped his high school team win the CIF championship during his final two years of high school. And after recording 25 touchdowns, 14 passes deflected, and 9 interceptions in just 3 years, 24-7 sports had Hawkins ranked as a 3-star recruit, and he had offers from ASU, Washington, San Diego State among others. Ultimately though, he did decide to commit to SDSU. As a freshman for the Aztecs in 2016, he redshirted. In 2017, he appeared in 10 games, but his true breakout year was 2018 where he played in 13 games but started 5 while recording 35 tackles and 5 pass breakups. And much like we've seen over his NFL career, Hawkins improved as a player over his collegiate career. During his final 2 years for instance, in just 21 games, he recorded 100 tackles, 3 interceptions, 19 passes deflected, and one forced fumble. One of my favorite things about Hawkins in his college days is how great he was against the pass. Especially in man coverage, Hawkins would just have the ability to lock down players, and I think this really goes back to his high school days where he played a law cornerback. And as I'll point out later, this ability to cover man on man has also carried over to the pros, so I'm pretty impressed by that. Furthermore, he showed off great run fits in college, and while he didn't always make the tackle, I liked how aggressive he was in the run game. But there weren't just positives to his game. For instance, at times in college, you would just watch plays where his angles would be off, and he would bounce off some tackles. Furthermore, his testing wasn't that impressive. He came in at 6'1", weighing 205 pounds, running his 40-yard dash in 4.53 seconds. Overall training camp, and I bet this offseason is no different. So to really see the player he has become, I want to break down his most recent year's film, starting out with his Week 18 matchup against the Rams. One of the biggest improvements I've seen out of Taylor Hawkins in his pro career is his ability to make secure tackles. When you're watching a play like this, for instance, he's playing this exactly like a linebacker would play. He takes his read step, understands the gaps forming, and then he shoots them. This is perfectly played, and it's not just a one or two time thing. Every time he gets the opportunity to make a tackle, he's consistently right there. And the big reason why is because of his instincts. On a play like this, watch how quickly he can identify the ball carrier getting this ball. He triggers, he doesn't have any fear, and then I love how he breaks down an open field to get him down. To further highlight his instincts and how quickly he triggers, when we're watching this play, Hawkins is in play for this because early on, he quickly identifies that that's where Carson Wentz is going with the ball, and yeah, he gets a little bit lucky, but it's still a great catch. But it wasn't just this Rams game in which he really impressed me, so I want to briefly go over his preseason as well. I really want to highlight this play against the Chargers where he shows off that great man coverage I was talking about earlier. When you watch it from the end zone angle, for instance, you can see how Hawkins is basically running this wide receiver's route and it's pretty lucky this wasn't an INT. And it's not like it's a tight end or running back he's guarding, it's a legitimate wide receiver he's locking down. One of the biggest reasons why I believe he can be successful in the NFL, despite not running a 4-4, 
is how quickly he targets and identifies plays. On this play, for instance, before this ball is even snapped, he understands it's going to be a wide receiver screen, triggers on it, shows no fear, and then blows this up for a zero yard gain. And when you pair that with how aggressive he is against the run, I think he's the perfect fit for San Francisco. He shows off very little fear and has great open field tackles to really secure this back half. And while there's a lot to like about him, there's also areas in which he needs to improve. Like on this play, I would like to see Hawkins not get his eyes caught so much in the backfield, but rather get on top sooner. And I know there's going to be plays like this because he's a young player, I just wanted to highlight a couple of plays where he can continue to improve. Like on this play, I would like to see Hawkins be a little bit less aggressive when it's coming right towards him. He doesn't need to necessarily attack this wide receiver since he's running right into his zone. Ultimately, while Taylor Hawkins probably won't start this year unless something terrible goes wrong, I believe San Francisco does have another solid safety in him but I also wouldn't mind seeing them draft another safety or even bring back Gibson for just one more year. I know he's 33, but that guy really seems like the Brady of safeties and extremely under the radar. Ultimately though, these are just some of my thoughts about San Francisco's safety situation and I'd like to hear yours down below. It would also mean a ton if you liked and subscribed and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.